Okay. Let's look at your match history. So first game was really good. Second game is a mediocre game. Tenth place is not good enough. Same with third. Off spawn doesn't matter. For all, like you guys understand why off spawn doesn't matter, right? Yeah. Yeah, because like you just recue. Look, people believe games are the currency that you should look for. Like, oh, wasting a game is bad. No, it's not true in tournaments. In Fortnite tournaments, you have three games that you can literally throw away, and as long as you play all the the rest of the seven in end game, you get to use up all the time. Does that make right. sense? So you have an excess of games. So you can die off spawn right. three times, and as long as all the other games are literally like deep end games, you are fine. So where should we fix, right? I'm not worried about this game. I'm not worried right. about this game. Every other game that's not off spawn is, is what we should look at. So let's start with this one. Right. Uh, we're in a box. No, so this situation, I was actually, because uh, my parents ordered pizza and they that just left and they went downstairs and got the pizza and like sprint upstairs. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that's not the issue. Like, it's not your position. It's, it's nothing to do with this. It's, look at your Mac count. 80, oh. 85, right? That's not right. enough. We're, we're not even, this is third circle. This is really early. At this point, I expect you guys both to have at least 130 each. Right. Actually, right? This is way too low. So this is a, this is the first problem. Uh, I promise you in, first, in for the game one, I don't think you guys had this issue. So let's say, let's say I have a graph. I draw this all the time right. for like all this and I tell them the exact same thing. Let's say this is the off spawn right here. Okay. Right. First moving, uh, first zone, second zone, third, fourth, fifth, right here, and then mm -hmm. first moving, second moving, third, fourth moving, fourth moving. This is how your graph should look like. Okay. So you had zero mats. So you're building up, building up, building up, building up, building up, and then you're at 150. Like this is cap mats. Okay. Then right. you're gonna very like bear, you, this mat should barely move because every time you use wood on a rotate, you can just reform on a tree or like get some mats right. back. Like I'm not too worried. So this should barely move. Like maybe slight downward. Right, and it should go like this, and then half F rotate is kind of hard, so it should go like slightly down, and then this is where all your mats will get used, so it's gonna go like this. Okay, that's what the average looks like. This is what yours look like, right? And so this is really bad because this is gonna snowball negatively for you guys, right? So you're gonna be at like 50 builds each in half half if we sort of extrapolate from where you guys are currently, and it's gonna be really tough. It's gonna be really hard for you guys because now yeah. try playing moving with the amount of mats you guys have. You're gonna be dead in first moving doesn't make sense right. it's really hard it's really really hard and guess what now you're like i think this is like the the shark and the fish these guys are the sharks and you're the fish but however if you get an impact in half after let's say like to fix this game you get an impact because like what i'm sort of saying is like this is your win condition this is what you need to do in half right. yeah if you if you want any chance of winning this game you need to get a kill in half or like some some place around there maybe fort zone or, or first moving depending but i think half half is the best if you don't manage to do that you have to steal a tarp Right. So this is how I think about the game, right? If you get an impact here, now guess what? You're the shark. You're above the curve. Now you're... Right. What well, these guys run out, let's say, like, I draw, finish this line. When they run out somewhere in third moving, and you guys uh, are still have mats, because, you know, you, you got that impact in half-half, and you're above the curve, yeah. you're above average mats. Now you can look back in your brick tarp while everyone else has no mats. Literally the freest kills of your life. Which is why I encourage people, just don't take mid-game fights. Why are you putting so much effort fighting someone that has 555 when you can just shoot someone that has no mats over here if you just wait? These are the easy kills. This is how you get kill points. You can get them in end game, uh, and you do it by making sure you're above curve. You guys, for no reason, in my opinion, but I haven't watched it. Maybe let's see if there is a reason. Let's quickly look through. Maybe, maybe someone keyed you. I, I could be totally wrong here. If someone keyed you, then it's not your fault. However, it is up to you. It is your responsibility to look for something later to fix it, right? Because people get keyed all the time. Pros get keyed too. The difference is the pros actually do something about it, right? To fix it, right? It's not, it's not like, a, oh, I got unlucky and, and, and we got keyed and, and pros don't get keyed. Like, uh, that just logically doesn't make sense. Right. Like, <laughs> doesn't, of course they get keyed. They just fix it afterwards. Right now, mats are decent. I hope what you guys are missing are wood. Get metal. Yeah, so you fix metal here. Uh, I would make sure that you guys are a lot more metal. So where do you get your metal in this drop? Do you land the same drop as the solo drop? Uh, the, building, the building we just rotated through is so where we landed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I think... Uh, I don't know what you guys did in your loot spot. You're gonna have to figure it out because we don't have too much time But the number one thing you need to do is farm this. This is metal all of it, right? Because right? one of the players I don't know exactly who has 250 metal. That's a big deal. Really really big deal Essentially, you're under the curve on the graph without even Like the game hasn't even started that we've already messed up, right? So that's right. this is a place where we cannot mess up because there's like there's no pressure on us No one's fighting us. There's no skill involved. It's just a decision to actually find the metal So we find the metal right. here. This is good, but there is more to get and this is right here This actually gives a lot so I think you would, you should get that even in this case That's it because I understand zones pretty far and zones coming in even in this case. I would still get it by the way It's that yeah. important. It really is so so far so good I mean relatively it's pretty good like that not getting that metal is not the reason why you're 80 80 you should still be pretty good 
No, the, I think the reason we park here, we didn't park a car and a car got blew up and made the worst lot of match. It got blown up, you said? It got, uh, yeah, the team in front of us blew our car up after we tagged him for search and they were a little salty. Oh, so, wait, I have a question. Why are we, why are we boxing here? Uh, cause I, I was trying to get the rec center. Yes, yes, yes. I think, so I understand second zone direct center is like, it's still guaranteed third, right? So that is a thing, right? right? So th th it's not the fact that that doesn't exist. It does. The problem is, let me draw it this way. There's no guaranteed way to pull half-half, correct? Right, yep. There's like, it's just luck. Like, it's really difficult. Maybe there's some like in-depth tactic that people use. I don't really know, like a bunch of like conspiracy theories. I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't really know of anything like that, right? It's really hard. I, I don't think there's any way to really guess where half of it. I think those are all conspiracy theories. I'm gonna keep my mind open to it, but like I'm just gonna say no for now because no one knows anything. Cool. Uh, so let's say let's say this is second zone right here, right? And we go center. Let's say third zone pulls here. This kind of ruins your game. Does that make sense? Right. Because now like okay like now like we're gonna stay. It's kind of awkward to move in because there's a whole bunch of other boxes and it's really weird. Now let's say instead of here, you are just here on edge and just waiting. You might be have a rotate like ready to get in like this something right. like that right you're like essentially what i what i think is like second you should not full commit to second unless it's on like a crazy hill and in this case second's just not worth it in my opinion because you're right next to a team right there's a whole bunch of congestion if you just box like here maybe it's better in my opinion like just be a little yeah. bit further away you can go somewhat center but just don't be right next to them it's not worth it be somewhere where you can box your car what about that Right? Obviously, this doesn't exist anymore. Cars are completely taken out. But in this specific game, where the car was still in the game, I, I would just box your car and make sure you still have the rotate. And then when third shows, maybe you can look for center. It may not be guaranteed that you can get it, but like you can look for it then. And the main reason is, right? Because like second zone pulling center, like if you go center here, it kind of screws you because fourth, fourth can still pull weird. But let's say this is third zone, right? And you go center, fourth's going to pull on you. And then you can just stay because it doesn't matter where you are in fourth because you can't guarantee half. And then half pulls somewhere, right? And then, okay, like we can just rotate. It's just nice. It's like a nice part of the game to commit to. Nothing can go wrong. But second seems too early because then so third can pull in a weird spot, and then you can't so get no forward. So it's not really a point of forcing a center second zone. This My up. opinion is not too worth it. Yeah, I, I, I would. I it's not as valuable as third circle. Uh, third circle center. Okay. From my experience, it just doesn't seem as uh, as valuable. Like, look, let me put it this way: if it's free and there's a hill there and it's completely free, yes. But this is not free. This is not free. These guys could literally run at you and key you if they wanted to. And no one would stop them. Right, but if you're here, you're not getting keyed by them. Like, usually it'll pull some random place in second. And then the guys are usually going to be there. Like, there's going to be guys close to center naturally. So, you can't really, like, walk there when everyone's beaming you. So, you have to... What I would do now, instead of hard forcing every game, because you can't anymore without the cards, is just play it ear. Play it by ear. Like, make sure you play case by case. Say, like, can I do it here? Okay, let's do it. Oh, I can't do it here because there's too many people. Let's not do it. That's what I, that's, I would play it very intuitively. And I think it would be a lot much better for you guys. I mean, so far, car blown up. That's your Mac, Mac count loss, okay? So we understand where it starts, okay? This is this is right. why you guys lose your mats. Let's go back. Let's go back to half-half. We're in fourth zone. Half is about to pull in about a couple seconds, I think. Actually, no. I think half is already shown on the map. Yeah, it is. It's just bugged out. No, we pulled, we pulled half this game. That's why it's we're good. holding it. It's good. I would still say you're below the curve, in my opinion. Right? Because what I expect out of people in, in half half and duels is honestly like around 100, 110 mats uh, build, sorry, right. each. For sure. Right? And I think you, I think you guys can achieve that if everything goes right. Okay. That includes, so like the prerequisite to making sure this happens is actually farming max out, max mats at the very beginning. Because you're just making it harder for yourself if you don't do that, right? Okay, zone pulls. Don't have a pad. I don't think you need to steal. It's okay. Yeah, this is good. This is really a dead game, by the way. Like, this, this is super, right. super easy to place. How do you do it? It's already a mistake, in my opinion. I think you need to get in this tarp. You need to you need to use old builds whenever possible. I think this would be one, 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 one way to do it. So don't tarp here. Just, like, box down here and just get in. I know it's not a long tarp, but from your perspective, it does look like one. Looks like a long right. one. So I, would, I, would, I would try to get here. And then once you get over here, you can just build wood on low ground and cut in like this. The reason why low ground is really efficient... Uh, even for first moving, in my opinion, is you don't have to build your floors, so it's really modified. Right. Cool, this is good. I think I think we die here because we get separated. I think Sosa pushes another team. I guess we buy it. I'm glad you go up. There's people on your lair. Yeah, you need to be careful here. I think I calmed there was somebody on a lair. I think we went up and then a lair. Or remember that kill that I was talking about in half half on the graph? Yeah. 
it never happens so w what you need to do here is actively look for ways to find kills one way okay. you could do it is right in front of you and let everything load this is a solo right and you know it because it's one box you can spray at it you can notice one person there's no connecting boxes around it that you know you're good this is a solo you need to jump him right now should i enable uh prs you think prs should play or uh yes but you need to be good at it in order to in order for it to work so in scrims spam that shit like be really good at it for sure i think it's really good but uh it's it, it's, it doesn't provide value if you're if you're not comfortable with it i'll put it that way but yeah i think i think what you guys are gonna do which is what most duos do is you don't realize you're below on the curve you don't realize there's an urgency here and instead of going for an actual like advantaged fight like a 2v1 on a solo you just either tarp really safely or just go for sprays on people like this which doesn't actually do anything because they're holding they're always they're obviously aware of you guys double spraying. this right. doesn't do anything like literally just wasting time right so in my opinion what you should do is literally just go after this solo or like start tarping anyways like don't waste time this is fine I'm a little worried it's kind of out in the open you guys do a nice yeah. free rotate uh, good yeah it's good pulled back this is where we can separate this is where we die yeah you uh, need to this right here i would get up here because I went, I went for a kill right here mm -hmm. when i shouldn't have yep because i was low on mats yep i should just i should just ask sosa for mats and sosa tries to hop into a box i'm pretty sure and he dies. I thought, I thought you were like, like hopping into. Yeah, 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 yeah. We should, we should have calmed that though. That was my bad. Yeah. That so chug and like then just dies on. Yeah, it's gonna die on. Also, the reason why it's so difficult to rotate on this side. Do you guys know about expanding side, closing side? I talked about it in my video earlier. Let me, let me put it this way, right? Is it which way is, is zone going mostly? North, northeast, southwest. I think that's east. That's I east. don't know. Yeah, that's I don't east. really see it. Okay, yeah, fair enough. This is east. This is east. Because you right, like right. mini map. It pulls to you, right? That's east. Okay. So that's oh, yeah. so this is this is this is where it's gonna pull. Agreed? This is the main direction. Now we're figuring out where does it where does a slight tilt happen? Does it go slightly to the left or slightly to the right? That's what I'm talking about. Because now look, right. it pulls slightly to the left. How do I know? Because look, look at this wall right here. Look at the mini map. Look at my camera. Right? It goes a little bit more north, like this. This is where it yeah. ends up. So clearly this is the expanding side. This that wall right there, see that? Has to match yeah. right here. How do I know that? I can look at the minimap. I see the white circle edge. I can see that this is expanding. This this wall has to give me space. Now, oh, okay, so this side is expanding. Usually the other side is it's closing. And look, look what happens. Right? If I just watch this wall. It's because it's congested over here, right? Yeah, it's not even about congestion. It, I mean, it is a little bit, yes, but uh, my point is, if you go here, you're going to be suffocated because you have to constantly move diagonally. It kind of forces you into other people's builds. Whereas over here, right. why is there like this random space over here? All right. Right? It's obviously because of dead side, because zone originally came from here. But it's, there's also another factor. It's the fact that it's expanding over here. Right? So no right. one that was in this lane right here is going to be like still playing cause, like previously because of the fact that it was previously covered by storm. It's just constantly giving you more and more space. Whereas so on the other side, think, it's not. You guys, so you, that's where I should be playing from. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. You should. You, that's so where you should go to the left. What I'm, would be a place to get over to that side? Just like tax sprint, or just well, like. Tarp? Where were you guys? Right, you were back here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, right, you just yeah. go around the left. <laughs> Whatever you did to go to go over here, instead of going to the right, you just go to the left. That's it. First thing to establish is okay. Like, where does zone go? It goes to the east. Second thing to establish is where does it tilt towards? Is it north or south? It tilts more towards the uh, north, which is your left side. Uh, and right. so you need to play towards that side, in my opinion. The biggest problem, though, is playing towards an open areas when you have very little mats. It, it's kind yeah. of tough because if someone sprays you, I think I think right. someone will spray you because it's really, really open. But like right here, you edit down and look, let's go here. All right. Instead of just going this way, you just go this way because you need to realize like, hey, zone's actually tilting towards this way. It's not actually going this yeah. direction. You don't. You never want to play on the the closing side. I feel like it's just really tough to play. Because the, the essentially, have you seen those horror movies where the the walls are closing in on you with spikes and you can't yeah. do anything about it? It's literally what's happening. Yeah. This wall is closing in on you and it's forcing you into all these builds, which are usually enemy walls, and you don't have a choice all about right. it. Whereas over here, you have expanding. Like this is giving you space, so it's really nice. It gives you a lot more freedom. You get to breathe, and it's just really nice. It's also dead side, so that's another factor. There's two factors like kind of compounded that gives you a big reason why you should play here. Right. But yeah, this this is my analysis of this game. You understand it why is, I know uh, it's dead side, by the way, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Because it's the side nobody's on. 
Yeah, no, no. Like, how do I know if I uh, don't if I my monitor is black and I just look at mini map? Because it's because it's, it's, uh, yeah, oh, it's the opening side. No, it keeps no. Opening. no, 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 not there. Okay, so let me let me show you. Let me draw another paint. This is really important. That oh, one. because mm -hmm. because zone pulled like back earlier, and then if it pulls like far like left, people are gonna be more congested on the side it pulled earlier. Yeah, so like if I, the very edge of last zone. If I were to draw right, this is half half. It pulls this right. way, and then it pulls this way. Right. So if I, if I had to draw where most people are gonna end up in this white circle, it's gonna be here. Because they don't right. want to go. They, usually people don't like boxing out to the far side because it wastes mats. So they just get in. That's why this side is usually more congested. And then when it pulls this way, you know this side is least congested. Right. However, when it pulled this way, it, it actually went like this. I redraw the whole thing. It went like slightly like this. Do you see that? Yeah. And so that's why it's 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 dead side because of this concept. And it's expanding side because this wall has to go up to match this. Okay. All right, and so you're going to get all this free space here that usually will be storm, but it's going to be opening up here. Whereas this wall has to match here, it's going to close in. Right. It's going to be awkward. Yeah. So basically play expanding side, closing side. But yeah, I, I would I would understand where that is and then try to play towards expanding side. But then there's other factors, like how many mats do you have? Can you even play in the open space? Because like, if you have like three builds, you can't really tarp in open space. I would rather play in right. enemy builds then, you know what I mean? It gives you way more yeah. control. Uh, but in that case, I think you have enough match. You have 70 builds total as a team. I think you can literally do this tarp. If you're looking at, like, as if we're looking into the page, you're looking uh, roof and then right wall. That's it. Right, That's all yeah. you have to do on the Literally. It's two mats per tile. Really efficient tarp on the left side if you do this. Cool. Any other questions? Uh, uh, I don't have any, but... Uh, Sosa, do you have any questions? Nah. I I'd love to continue this on, on Friday or Thursday or whatever. Like, literally, if you want to watch the entire cash cup, we can. Well, Shane, uh, do you sure. have a, a, some, some place to be in like a couple of minutes, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not going to hold you up. I you're good, you're go good. On. Yeah, yeah. I, I really hope you guys learned a lot. I, I think it, it was a good lesson, but uh, if you guys have questions in the future, just DM me, of course. All right. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank Take you. care, guys. Bye-bye. All right, peace. Bye.